there's a big blind spot there as well around the fact that even these politics are evolving. The Overton <laughs> window is shifting. So what it meant to yeah. be a conservative or a Democrat 40 years ago is different than what it means now. But yet we have this blind spot that it's fixed and that it's built on a solid foundation. So if I'm saying that, then my assumption is that that's always been the way it is for me. And then my assumption also goes to you, that you're fixed in your view and it's not evolving internally for you. And maybe you're not feeling those internal contradictions. And I think that's difficult for us to really grapple with, this blind spot that we have around how these views have shifted over time, that meaning is constantly changing and being redefined based on culturally what's evolving around us. Yeah, there's, there's this amazing finding in, in, in science called the end of history effect. And everyone agrees that they've changed till now, but right now they think is the end of history, right? They'll just be the same forever from now on and never change again. And I think that's exactly wrong, right? We change in all sorts of ways, right? There's, there's new things we consider. We grow, exactly. Now, the other blind spot with this is that we often view right now what's happening to us as the worst. And we don't think about the historical patterns and how this polarization has happened before, maybe not directly in our lifetime, but it's happened historically because this is hardwired in our DNA for survival that's just being hijacked in this scenario, in this particular location in time. And it's happened to tribes in different parts of the world. Maybe they weren't consuming social media, but there was tribalism. There was polarization. There was people not understanding the other person's side of this view. But I think we have this blind spot around, well, it's the worst it's ever been right now. And now I have to dig my heels in and fight harder than ever. Yeah. And it's not even that bad in America, right? Like we're like, America is divided, but- if you compare America to other countries where there's ongoing civil wars, it's not right. Like just because you give someone a dirty look if they're wearing the wrong color or wrong hat or wrong T-shirt or wrong bumper sticker, it does, right? You're not going to try to attack them. But that is that happens in other places at other times. So it's not so bad right now. And not to mention the overlap of views and values shared between both parties is much larger than we recognize because that's not where the media puts their focus and attention, right? So the only thing that's highlighted in the culture wars and in the political divides and the polarization is where there is difference and disagreement. You're not gonna sit there on social media and scroll through all the agreements that both sides have. All the things that we both agree on in the world that we want to see, we are only fed that sliver of the pie where there's clear disagreement that can be leveraged to keep us exhausted and at home or to keep us motivated to fight. Exactly, exactly. I think we agree, we agree on probably 99% of moral issues. And the 1% that we disagree on, we probably still agree about the underlying motivations there, which is we want to have a vibrant society, we want to protect the vulnerable, and we want to have a fair society for, for everybody, right? Like, and then there's the trade-offs, right? But underlying those trade-offs is, is a common motivation. Mm -hmm. 